Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. Of late, I have been trying to see how I can enjoy all my favorite dishes while maintaining their health quotient. Previously, I had shared a couple of donut recipes on the Terrace Kitchen, but today's recipe is special. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my favorite donuts using whole wheat flour or atta with cold pressed sunflower oil by Azafran, about which I'll share some more info later. So let's get started. For yeast activation, we need half cup warm milk. Make sure it's warm and not hot. Add one tablespoon sugar and mix well till the sugar is dissolved in the milk. Then add two teaspoon dry yeast. Gently mix for three to four seconds. Cover and let this set for 10 to 15 minutes. This is a very important step and you would also come to know whether you should really use the yeast you have or not. If the yeast becomes bubbly, if it blooms like this, that means it's activated, you can use it. If this does not happen, do not use that yeast. In a bowl, take 2 cups whole wheat flour, that is kehun ka atta. Add 3 tablespoons powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, give it a mix. If you have a stand mixer, you can do this in your stand mixer. Then add the yeast mixture. First mix the flour and the yeast mixture and then gradually add water. The water should be at room temperature. You would need half cup plus 2 to 3 tablespoon water. Well, you may need a little less or more depending on the type of whole wheat flour you use. More fiber would need more water. Keep kneading the dough for 15 minutes. This is a very important step. You need to pull and stretch the dough. This would help form gluten in the dough. If you feel that your dough is sticky, don't worry. It would come together as you start kneading and you continue kneading it. After 5 minutes of kneading, add butter. So here I've got 2 tablespoon butter which is soft at room temperature. You may use salted or unsalted butter. After adding butter, you might feel that the dough has started to become sticky or it's sticking to your hand. Don't worry, continue kneading and it would come together. Continue kneading for 10 more minutes and the dough would come together and become smooth. Next step is to proof the dough. So transfer it back to the bowl. Cover with a plate or a cloth and let it sit in a warm place for 1-2 to two hours or till the dough doubles. Depending on the weather in your region, this process might take less or more time. The dough has doubled in size and the next step is to punch it and again knead for a minute or so till it comes together. If you're finding it difficult to handle the dough, you can apply some oil or ghee to your hand and handle the dough. Sprinkle some wheat flour on your countertop or your worktop and start rolling the dough. The thickness should be around half inch. Once you're done rolling the dough, use a donut cutter to cut the donuts or you can use two cookie cutters, a bigger one and a smaller one. If you do not have cookie cutters, you can use two steel lids or you can use two steel bowls to cut the donuts. Place the donuts on a parchment paper or butter paper. If you do not have any of these, you can place every donut on an individual dish or a plate so that you can lift the dish and gently lift your donut and drop in the oil later. Apply some oil on top of your donut so that the top doesn't dry out. Now let the donut sit for 15 minutes for second rise. I've made 6 donuts but you can make more donuts with this recipe. For frying the donuts, I'm using cold pressed sunflower oil from organic brand Azafran. I'm choosing this oil as it's a healthier alternative to mass produced cooking oils. This oil has so many health benefits. One of the best things about it is that it's 100% organic and free from trans fats and cholesterol. All cold press oils by Azafran are EcoCert and USDA certified. It's rich in omega 9 and has 100% natural taste and aroma. And all these benefits work to improve our immunity and cardiovascular wellness. Adding this oil to one's daily diet also promotes a healthy nervous system and boosts energy levels in the body. The cold press oils are a healthy option for regular cooking. It could be used for making sabzi, dal, deep frying and pretty much everything. Hence making our regular meals healthy. I also love the fact that it doesn't have an overpowering taste, making it fit to be used for my everyday cooking as well. It has been 15 minutes and you can see the donuts have risen. Do not let them rise more. 
If you're using a butter paper or a parchment paper, you can directly transfer the donut from the paper to the hot oil gently or you can lift the donut with your fingers and drop in the hot oil. Make sure when you lift the donuts, you do not deflate them. Fry it medium flame till golden brown in color on both the sides. It's very important to not fry the donuts at low flame because that would make them oily. Frying them at high flame would just cook them on the outside and they would remain raw inside. You might have to switch between the flames, flame temperatures, I mean high or low. If the oil becomes too hot, lower the flame for some time and vice versa. Same way fry all the donuts. You can also fry the donut holes that is the center of the donuts. The flat donut holes would puff up and become round. Here I've fried a few donuts and some donut holes and next I'm going to coat these with chocolate and there is one more thing which is a healthier alternative to sugar. Let's first look at the chocolate coating. So here I've got approximately half cup chocolate. We won't need this entire chocolate, but then we need some chocolate to dip our donuts in. You can use a double boiler that is a bowl of boiling water and a bowl of chocolate on top of that to melt your chocolate or you can use your microwave. So once your chocolate melts, you can coat every donut in the chocolate the way I'm showing on the screen. You can use dark milk, white chocolate, any chocolate of your choice and sprinkle of your choice. How do you like your donuts? Coat it with chocolate, coat it with sugar or any other thing. Let me know in the comment section. I'm also coating some donut holes with the chocolate. Not totally, just half of it. Donuts are also coated with sugar, but instead of sugar here, I'm using organic jaggery powder. You can use any kind of good quality good powder that is jaggery powder and coat your donuts with it. Coating the donuts with jaggery powder takes more time than coating the donuts with sugar, but don't worry, the result is fantastic. The jaggery tastes amazing on the donuts. And I found that it was much easier to coat the donut holes with jaggery because of less surface area. These donuts have turned out light and fluffy. Look at the beautiful texture inside. You can store these in your refrigerator in an airtight container up to a week. Before serving the donuts, just pop them in the microwave for 25 to 30 seconds. This would make the donuts soft and spongy again because after refrigeration, they tend to harden a little. So microwave before serving if you refrigerate them. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe the Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. And do give this recipe a try and enjoy!